next, we will show you how they are trying to use that power to control Hispanic street gangs, start a race war, and control the drug trade. Tonight, an inside look at how they are doing that. These men are members of the Mexican Mafia, a prison gang also known as La M. A. They see themselves as criminal warriors, and they control much of what goes on inside many of the state's prisons and jails, including the lucrative drug trade. Here at the Chino State Prison Maximum Security Unit, MA members work out together, readying themselves for combat in and outside prison walls. Experts on La MA say the group uses violence and terror to achieve its goals. Their power comes from ruthlessness. This Mexican Mafia member who wants his identity concealed says you have to kill to get in. We've got an organization of murderers, really. That's what it is. Like a murder incorporated, that's what it is. And Mexican Mafia experts say La M.A. orders hits in and outside jail. And in recent months, La M.A. has used that threat called the Black Hand of the Mafia to enhance its power outside prison walls. In this police surveillance tape obtained by Fox News, more than 300 gang members and associates are called to a meeting in Santa Ana. Many of those here are longtime gang rivals, enemies. But they come together because this man, waving his arms, calls them here in the name of the Mexican Mafia. Authorities identify him as Peter Sana Ojeda, an M.A. veteran who controls narcotics sales for the Mafia in Orange County. He orders the rival gangsters to stop all drive-by shootings against members of your own race, La Raza, or face the wrath of the Mafia. In short, a forced peace treaty between Hispanic street gangs. And the kids were eating it up. They were like, yeah, we are that Raza. That, that is us. This ex-gang member attended three of the Mafia-sponsored meetings. We have hidden his identity because he fears the M.A. will kill him for talking. But he believes the Mafia has its own selfish reasons for calling a peace treaty. It wasn't stop the drive-bys because innocent people are getting killed. It was stop the drive-bys because you heard in our business. They want to control the streets. But see, the M.A. wants to control the whole business, the whole dope business. Bottom line, how much money they can make, what they can control. Ojeda is now back in prison on a federal weapons charge. But Fox News has learned the Mexican Mafia, using as many as 20 MA operatives, have called gang members to meetings like this one in Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Riverside counties as well. The message always the same. Kill a fellow Hispanic gang member and you die. It's working because the, the kids are scared. Never before has the MA had such an influence coming down that if you do come in, they, they'll hit you. Here on the street, Scared Hispanic gang members in general refuse to talk about the M.A.'s edict. But this gang member who wants his identity concealed explains a renegade gang will pay even if it escapes M.A. wrath on the streets. Out here, you know, you can always watch your back, you know, shoot or run. Or you get locked up in your cell, you know, who's going to be under the bed sticking you? So the thing is not concern for us out here, but for concern, you got to think about your home was in there, locked up. And now, as most Hispanic gang members seem to be cooperating with the forced peace treaty, gangsters tell Fox News Mexican mafia members insist a tax be paid on all drugs sold in the neighborhood. Detective Dexter Cole says undercover officers have seen it firsthand in Pomona. The way it's set up is that uh, each gang is allowed to collect money from the drug dealers, a percentage of that um, supposedly goes to the Mexican Mafia. At the same time, MA members are preaching at these meetings that it is okay to go against black gangs. This ex-gang member says it is part of the Mafia plan to take over all the drug trade. Man, this is powerful stuff. My big homeboy said, I gotta take these fools out. I gotta do it for my big homeboy. And once they get in the up, God help us all. It's, it's gonna be ugly, much uglier than it's ever been. And that's what I'm afraid of. A lot of kids going to get killed. With that prospect in mind, representatives of the NAACP and Mexican-American Legal Defense Fund